Hello, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI. Today, lads, it's looking really quantum. In the tech and finance media in the past few weeks, there's been a barrage of hype about quantum computing. This is entirely because the venture capitalists are worried about the AI bubble. The MIT report that 95% of AI projects don't make any money really frightened the AI bubble guys. This is even though the actual report is trash. And as Pivot reported, its actual purpose is the authors trying to sell you their Web3 crypto scam. They got the right answer by pure accident. So this new wave of quantum hype is marketing for a finance bubble. Same way artificial intelligence is not a name for any particular tech, it's a marketing term since 1955. Venture capital needs a bubble to get lottery wins. The hype is the product. The tech itself is an annoying bag on the side of the hype. We gotta sell the hype. Quantum computing doesn't exist yet. It's like investors are being sold the fabulous vision of the full internet 10 minutes after the telegraph was invented. Get in early. So I'm afraid I can't skip mere tawdry reality. What is quantum computing, really? Now, quantum computing is a real thing. It is not a technology yet. Right now, it's physics experiments. You can't buy it in a box. The big prize version of quantum computing, what the hype is about, is where you do currently hard calculations really fast, like factor huge numbers to break encryption. Woo. Here in the real life present day, quantum computing still can't factor numbers higher than 21. Two, one, three times seven. That's the best you can do. There's also a lot of fudging it. I'll just mention in passing the recent Peter Gutman paper, which is a list of ways to cheat at quantum factory. Before you ask, the cryptographers are fully on the case because they do have to think decades ahead, so they have. Don't worry about that. There's other things that are not this big prize version of quantum computing, but they can technically call them computing that's quantum. So they do because there's money in the Q word. D-Wave will sell you a box that does a different thing called quantum annealing. Amazon and IBM will rent you quantum computers and you look and they're quantum computing simulators. IBM also runs a lot of vendor funded trials. But my key point is the big hype version of quantum computing that uses qubits to factor numbers fast and so on, it is not here and it does not exist yet. The hype is that it will exist any time soon. But there's not a lot of sign of that. Load up Google News and type in quantum computing. Some of this is science. A university press office talks up a small advance. The hype results are PR company placements funded by venture capital. Today's example press release is a new science experiment and you have to read several paragraphs down to where anything practical turns out to be a decade away, at best. They say, this decade. I say, I wish you all the best. Press releases like this come out all the time. Mostly they don't go anywhere. I'm not saying none of them will. I'm saying these are funding pitches. Any results are always years away. If everything goes really well, we might have one of these turn into a product in five years. I won't say it can't happen. I will say, show me. There's an editorial from the Financial Times on 21st August. The world should prepare for the looming quantum era. New breakthroughs underscore the technology's potential and perils. So, the new breakthroughs aren't. The breakthrough is the wheels are coming off AI, so it's imperative to hype the new thing. All of this is could. The results they say could make this imminent are press releases from IBM and Google. It's hand-waving about big companies making promises. A lot of could, 
and the earliest actual date anyone will put on the start of a result is 2033. The FT editorial can't come up with any actual business advice given any of this is years away, and for almost anyone, there is no meaningful business advice to take on this topic in 2025. No CEO or CTO needs to think about quantum computing until there is an actual product to think about, or unless you're literally IBM. Except, of course, you must put all your money into funds investing in quantum computing. That'll keep the nine going up, which is, of course, job number one. So can they actually ignite a quantum computing bubble? Well, I don't know. I'm not going to say no, because stupid things happen every day. I will say they got an uphill battle. The AR bubble launched with a super impressive demo called ChatGPT. It went off like a rocket. And quantum computing doesn't have anything like that yet. There's no products. But the physics experiments are very pretty. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. If you enjoyed this episode, please do quantum tunnel it to just one other person. We live off your word of mouth. Hit like and subscribe on YouTube, leave a nice podcast review, and Pivot is funded by you, our viewers and listeners. If you put just $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes below, it keeps us coming out every day. If you join as a member on YouTube, that works too. And you get the episode 20 minutes ahead of everyone else. Thank you all. See you tomorrow, and bye for now.